Hey what up, welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to code up notifications in your Flutter app for both iOS and Android. I recently implemented this for my own app actually, a habit tracker called Rituals where it sends you daily notifications about your habit progress. It's in the app store so go check it out and now let's get into the tutorial. Now just a quick overview. We're going to use this package called Flutter Local Notifications. So please check that out for more detail as it has a lot of good information about the setup as well as different use cases. But for this tutorial today, I'm going to teach you the basics to get you started. So in our Flutter app, we're going to use this package and we don't need to do too much on the Android side, but for iOS, we will need to do some Swift code in the app delegate file. So don't worry too much, I'll show you clearly and easily how to do all of this. Now just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I've got my app running this home page and this is just a blank scaffold. So you should just have a white blank app like this. Now the first thing I want you to do is open up your terminal and let's add in the package. So flutter pub add flutter local notifications. And then what we need to do is for the native part of this, I want you to go to the iOS runner app delegate.swift. And so in here, I want you to just add a bit of code. So the first thing is the Flutter local notification. And then down here, I want you to add in this bit of code as well as this one down here. So I want you to add these three bits of code. This is just what I got from the package documentation, which allows us to use the local notifications on iOS. And for Android, we don't need to do anything specific. So we can just start coding this up in our Flutter app. So I'm going to create a new file called Noti service. And let's create this class. So firstly, let's get the plugin from our package. And just some good practices here. I'm just going to store the Boolean for if this is initialized or not and get the getter for this. And so the main things we want to do here is we want to initialize it and then have the notifications detail set up as well as a method to show the notification. So let's start filling this out, starting with the initialization. So I'm just going to put in this at the beginning. So if it's already initialized, then let's just return it so that we can prevent reinitialization. And let's start by preparing the Android initialization settings. So for this one, you have to specify the icon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just specify the default icon for this app. So if you look at Android, app, source, main, in the resources, and you go to these MIP maps, you can see that obviously it's the Flutter icon as a default. So I'm just going to specify that one. You can of course change the icon. And then let's prepare the iOS settings. And then we can group these together. And then finally, we can use this to initialize the plugin. Cool, so that's all the code that we need for the initialization. Now let's set up the notification details. So again, just some setting up that we need to do for the Android.
and the iOS. Cool, and finally, the most important part of this is the show notification method. So in the parameters, I'm just going to accept, say, we need an ID, a title, and a body. So then we can return that notification plugin and you can see that show method and we can bring in all the parameters. Awesome. So now that this class is set up, I want you to come back to the main.dart file and let's make sure that the flutter binding are initialized and then we can initialize the notifications. Sweet, now let's come to our home page and in the middle, I'm just going to use a button. There it is. And if I click on this button, then let's go to our notification class and show notification. And in here, you can specify the title as well as the body. Awesome, so I'm gonna test this out so let's just kill the app and rebuild it and so if you open this app again it's going to initialize it at the beginning so you can see it's going to ask you for the permissions so i'm going to say allow and click on this button and you can see there is the notification so obviously the icon and the title and the body like the message of the notification you can change and just to also show you here on the android emulator you can do the same thing if you made it to the end of this tutorial please comment something about yourself below because i want to know more about the people that watch till the very end of the video i read every comment so whether you're just a beginner or you've been at this for years i want to know more about your journey your goals or just your situation in general i want to try to create a community of like-minded people so actually here's a question i want you to answer in the comments why are you learning flutter and how long have you been doing it for i hope this tutorial was helpful for you thanks for watching and i'll hang out in the comments below laters